and we're live, we're live, we're live. Come on, join in, Pa. We're live, we're live, we're live. No. Okay, hello everybody. Welcome to Witchcraft Wednesdays, part eight, um, which is very exciting um, because this one is kind of going to be a little bit of an overview of what we have been talking for the past eight uh, or seven sort of episodes that we've been doing. So I hope that you're all well. I hope that you're looking all lovely and you're feeling lovely today. And uh, Pa is currently joining in with a cherry thing. What are they called? A Bakewell tart. Absolutely vile. Get your Bakewell tart away from my Wednesday. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Hello everybody. Have you seen the new clock? Look at that new snazzy clock. It's, I, I actually, look at that pendulum just chilling there. Look at it go. It's very positive. I think it's quite gothic. I like it. I like it. Say hello. Pa, say hello. He's just eating his Bakewell tart. So welcome to Witchcraft Wednesdays. For those who don't know and just join in, uh, my name is Mary Beatty and for the past Hello. eight, there we go, for the past eight Wednesdays, um, uh, we have been talking about everything, everything to do with witchcraft, doing spell jars, talking through different uh, theories, different sides to it, taking some answers from you guys to talk about what you want to do. And this is going to be, this will not be the last episode. Uh, this is going to be a little breakaway. No! <laughs> Stop it! No! Not fiddling with the blaze mats. You spilt your Bakewell tart all over your laptop as well. Anyways, so uh, we have been talking all about that for the last few episodes and I've really enjoyed it. But I was thinking to myself, you know what? I think I just need a few weeks, not sure how many, to kind of focus on... Um, focus on my own little journey for a little while and make sure that I'm concentrating on the path that I'm taking um, and make sure that I'm kind of paying more attention to what I want to pay attention to, if that makes sense, because I feel like sometimes you can go a different course uh, and get a bit sidetracked and then you can, it's harder to get back onto that path. So by having just a few weeks to kind of chill, get back into that zone, everything will be perfect. So yeah, this is kind of like a mini episode before a break, yeah. It's the end of a series, that's what we call the it The end of a series. This is the end series, series end. End of series one. And you're going to prepare for series two. And we're preparing for series two. It's yep. actually quite cool. We've, got, we've actually got questions straight away from uh, Ghost Adventures of Cornwall. The Hello. lovely Ghost Adventures of Hello, Cornwall. Hello, Ghost Adventures of Cornwall. The we lovely. love Ghost Adventures of Cornwall. They're lovely yes, people. We love them. People. We love you. Now they're saying, um, Mary. Hello. What, what is a good protection against imps? Ooh. Have you heard of such energies? Yes. Um, also, there is some good protection against all, um, imps, fae, uh, and that usually revolves around lavender. Um, and also, weirdly enough, if you sage your windows and doorways, um, which consists of getting some herbs, lighting the sage, uh, and kind of bringing it in a little bit of an arc, it also helps protect against negative entities. So there you go. Bang that one off the top of my head. That was good, wasn't it? You see? See, this is why we research and we search. This is why we research and revise. We search and revise. <laughs> Going a bit off on one today. <laughs> so yeah, well, I'm up. Um, um, we're currently kind of going to be talking about what we've been doing so far in terms of the spell jars, talking about this, talking about that, um, and also just kind of giving a few tips to people who have begun um, their path into witchcraft. Uh, the same as me, or have just kind of, this is a, as a, awoken their want to go further in. So yeah, we're going to start off by kind of talking about what we've been focusing on, which has mostly been protection and bringing positivity into your life. So yeah, you're looking a bit confused over there. I'm always confused. <laughs> you just look a bit sort of like... Since the day you were bored, I was confused. See? I still try to work out whether it was worth it. That's so mean. What? That's so mean. Laura Gamble, where are you to back me up? You are the Legolas to my than than Thranduil. There we go. Anyways, I don't even know. I feel a bit sort of like hyper. Come on, everyone's telling me I'm rude. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm hugging you all. Stop it. No. Right. 
Anyways, so we're going to be talking about a lot of the protection stuff that we've been talking about um, when it comes to protecting oneself, bringing positivity into the workplace was one that we did, bringing friends into your life, um, even some very, very simple sort of bringing love life, soulmates, very, very positive is what we focused on, which is what I've always wanted to do. Um, but also when you think of... Um, yes? I'm just saying, oh, the, uh, the awesome cart... Sorry? The awesome cart. The awesome cart. The awesome cart I'm running every single week. I, I'd never know how to pronounce the awesome cart. Yeah, awesome cart is a play on horse and cart. I st I don't understand. Awesome cart. Wow. Do you mean um, awesome cart? The awesome cart. Is it awesome or awesome? <laughs> wow. Um, it says I've got my crystals Bible. Now my first crystals are on their way. Thank you for introducing me to that. I'm loving it. Fantastic. Well, funny thing, today I was um, kind of cleaning out this desk that I have and making sure that it all had, you know, you sort of like important documents in one little area and all that sort of stuff. But I decided to make it also into a bit of like a crystal area. So I now have all of my crystals on display. And once you've actually kind of like got them, because before they were kind of like splayed out, and I didn't, I, I wanted to put them somewhere a bit more private, so I did. And they're all snazzy, and they're all awesome, and they're all in their own place. And it's kind of like, it's actually kind of nice because you know that there's a bit of pride in there. Like, crystals to me, especially my little amethyst, don't tell the others that that's my favourite. But like, they're like my little babies. Like, I love them so much. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, it's all fun and games. But um, no, as in having crystals and their positive influence on, on people are fantastic. Um, for various things we've spoken about uh, what crystals can help with nightmares positivity even uh, mental health um, and trying to calm yourself down bringing more happy thoughts we've talked about quite a few of those um, and we've also spoken about how there are certain crystals that you can charge in certain different things and crystals overall are fantastic um, but I, I think a lot of people they forget that you can you, you don't have to buy to be a witch um, a lot of people sort of uh, believe that they have to buy uh, this, 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 this and this so that they are a witch. They have to buy the amethyst cluster. You don't have to. Um, you can always make sure you can find an incredibly lovely stone outside that is really cool to you. So you take it and you charge that up and that can be almost your intent can lead that to a similar outcome, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, it's, 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 it's an interesting thing that most things can be substituted, but you don't have to spend a lot of money to do this sort of thing. I did that like, do you ever remember, right? A bit of a sidetrack. Do you ever remember when you were in assembly and like you had to do hand gestures when you did hymns? I went to quite a tough school. Our hand gestures in assembly were nothing like that. <laughs> got the whole wide world in his hands he got the whole wide world in his hands he got the whole wide are world are you on drugs <laughs> no i don't know what's on well, with maybe you maybe you need to be no um, what linda shelley has said this Hello. isn't actually witchcraft this is just really eerie she Ooh. came downstairs the other morning obviously not here yeah that'd be a bit strange and she found an ornament broken in the sitting room floor she says she was the last one out of the room the night before and the first down in the morning. Ooh, I mean, to be fair, you hear a lot about the um, sort of stuff that people experience, whether it's, you know, picture frames coming off the walls. And uh, from what from what I can gather, it usually can be a lot of spirits trying to get the attention of the current owners in the house. Am I right in saying that? Um, from a witchcraft point of view, I would definitely say that it is an energy trying to contact you. So, yeah. That's my advice. Might not be right, but there you go. A lot of people <laughs> are saying, are you drunk? No. Uh, no. Uh, well, we've got someone saying, uh, Jackie Devitt said, yes, you're definitely pissed. I am definitely um, not, Jackie. <laughs> we've got Ruth Weir saying, you're on the monster. A lovely Ruth. I did have a monster today. Kelsey is also saying, it's the monster. I have had a monster today, but it was low. It was no sugar and no calorie. So as in, to yeah. be fair, I think it's weird because I've kind you of been... You think that that make, makes you not hyper? It's, it, you just have no idea the chemicals and crap that go into that, that will kill you. Anyway, let's get back to this. Angela Woodford asks, have you got any suggestions for crystals for good luck? Good luck. Oh, that's a good one. Um... Before you do that, a big shout out for the Filipino fans. This is Tenton. Um, oh, Tenton said that. Hello, Tenton. And hello to... Indonesia, uh, Philippines, Philippines, the Philippines. The Philippines. There we go. 
<laughs> so yes, hello from England to the Philippines, which is fantastic. Um, selenite is good. Uh, selenite is fantastic for good luck and bringing positivity into your life. Green jade. Pardon? Green jade. Green, green jade. jade to most, uh, to be fair, most green um, crystals can be linked to good luck in some form. Some are more powerful. Some are more sort of like, um, what? How can I say? You know, when something kind of is just a good crystal for all but like doesn't really peak in one area. It's one of those. Um, so when it comes to that sort of thing, I think a lot of green crystals are good, but selenite's also brilliant as well. So yeah. Karine Smith is saying your hair looks great. Thank you. Obviously she's not got her, her glasses on. Um, we, we... <laughs> uh, Alex Foles is saying, can you buy your own crystals or is it like tarot cards where someone has to buy them for you? No, you can buy your own crystals. Um, when it comes to uh, tarot cards, those are more spiritually based, whilst I think that crystals, they are naturally giving you off something. You don't have to really, um, that they're not really connected to a spiritual sense. They are, they just are, basically. It's, it's, it's whatever it can be, that is what it is. Amethyst, it will give you certain qualities. You don't need to have it from another person. You can get it yourself, which is why, you know, I advise, especially looking into um, the crystal shops that talk and talk about kind of the the honesty of their work. Because there are so many shops out there who will get a piece of plastic, get a piece of rock, dye it to make it look like a crystal and then sell it for an ungodly amount of money. So please be careful when you are buying your own crystals. So yes. Right. Um, are I'm you having told... fun over there? <laughs> yes, I'm getting told off a lot. Good. Deserve it. Um, the tarot card... Oh, right, okay. Sarah Green is saying the tarot card thing is a myth. If you're drawn to certain cards, you know, you should, you should get them. It's only bad luck if you haggle with the price. This is actually buying, not that... She's not saying that tarot cards are a myth, but the buying of tarot uh, cards. Um, I think it's it's down to that old belief system. It's kind of the same as, as having, um, you know, putting new shoes on your table is going to be bad luck. Doing this in that sort of way is going to be bad luck. However, if you do it this way, it's going to be good luck. Um, I think it's all down to the person. And I think it's also down to linking into the whole witchcraft thing of... Uh, whatever negativity you expel onto another, it comes back to you three times. Some people choose not to believe that, um, and therefore they don't get affected by it. And I think that if you genuinely don't believe that uh, you buy tar buying tarot cards for yourself, um, then go for it. You know, as in, I, personally, if I saw a really nice tarot deck, I wouldn't ask my mum to buy it for me. I'd just buy it myself. Um, but, you, you know, as in, I always think it's respectful to kind of go through very spiritual things. So, yeah. Right, someone has just said on here that it's not illegal for you to get your dad in a headlock or give him a Chinese burn. <laughs> no, you wouldn't do that. Yeah. People forget my dad is an old world champion. Not like he's an old. <laughs> like, you are old. X, I think X an ex, an ex world champion of champion, champion of martial arts. So if I even tried that, I'd probably be on the ground in two seconds. <laughs> Never. Millisecond. Can I poke you, though? Now, James says he, all, he always salutes magpies. They're talking about suspicions. What, 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 what are you all, you're, I, you're suspicious about? Well, superstitious, I mean. Superstitious. So you've always saluted to magpies. No, I used to, and used I stopped to. a long time ago. Oh, it must, I must, that must have been ingrained into my head when I was driving to school and I used yeah. to see magpies, because whenever I do, I do give them the odd little... I used to, but, but um, you're only really supposed to salute one. Because one's for yeah. sorrow and two's for joy. Yeah. Two so for is girl it... and four for a boy. Five for silver, six for gold, seven for a secret, never to be told. And that's a certain member of us who know magpie. Yeah. You're going to continue with that? I was getting No, it. that's a TV series for kids. Oh, uh, yeah. They no. were trying to get they were trying to get against Blue Peter. Didn't work. Ha! <laughs> magpie was great, but Blue <laughs> Peter was better. Ha <laughs> ha! Fail! Um, what was I going to say? Yes, no. Magpies, I do salute. I, I I knew that it's just the one though. So whenever I just see one, I always salute that. But if there's like more than one, then I don't really bother because it's just like they're vibing with each other. So, you know, it's all good. It's all good. That's such a Gen Z reaction. They're just vibing with a each Gen other. Gen Z reaction? Yeah. What's Gen Z? Gen Z, that's my generation. Gen Z? Gen Z. Your generation Z, are you? Yes. It's a bit scary though. Right, conspiracy theory. Oh, come on. Are you ready for this? 
Yes. Right, Z is the last letter of the alphabet. Are we the last generation? There you go. Something to think well, no, about. No, because you've got, you, you've got the millennials are another generation after you. No, they're before us. Will, Will's a millennial. but Millennials were born in the millennium, aren't they? No, Gen Z. It's really weird. So it's kids born between 1990, I think it's four, to 1998, and then 1999 to like 2004 are Gen Z. It's really weird, and I think it's the kids that grew up through the like the changing of the millennium. Absolute are... rubbish. That's why that's why everything's a mess because you kids have screwed it up. <laughs> right, uh, Mary. Um, uh, Debbie Pell's asked, uh, "Hi, Mary. Is there a crystal for willpower?" Willpower. That's fantastic. Oh, um, let me consult my book. I have a lot of stuff written on here to do with crystals, which is at the very, very beginning. The very, very beginning was when um, I... And it's Gen Z as well. We're in, we're in England. Gen Z. Not Z. That's American. I think it's because... You know when um, you watch zombie films, especially with yeah, um, American. World War Z? They it's say well, no, it's, it's World, it's World War, War Z. Z. Just because they say Z. I know. It's, they're American. That's we're British. Okay, Z. Z. Gen Z. There you go. <laughs> Um, clear quartz is fantastic for willpower. Um, selenite, uh, it provides clarity and also helps with willpower. So there you go, two crystals right there. But also, I would say when you're beginning to look into trying to um, help yourself with certain problems or, or if you want uh, more of something, for example, you know, your willpower, your clarity, all that sort of stuff, <clears throat> I would also look into herbs because with the herbs, um, you know, they can be cheaper, they are very easy to, um, they're very, very easy to get hold of. So as in, I would always look into that sort of first, and this links back into what I wanted to talk about when it came to beginning as a witch, um, and so on and so forth, which was the most important thing anyone can do is do their research. Um, you know, as in, when it comes to this, there's no, you know, you, there's no time limit. So as in, you can take as long or as fast as you want, but as long as you've got the best research, then you can start understanding more of the things. You can start buying more of the books and start understanding what they're talking about. Um, and that's why we've stuck, when it comes to doing what we've done, we've stuck to the majority of, what are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Show, come, no, show them, show them what you've brought. No, uh, no I'm just getting a... I'm getting a, a scony thing you out. You put it in a bread I bag. I didn't. I didn't. Your, your, your grand did. She made them, put them in, in a in a funny one of these things, and they're over there. So I've just brought one, and, and I've eaten it because it's really nice. Because your, your, your grand, being the head of witches in the world, which <laughs> she is, she has got, um, she, she does make good stuff. I mean, it's probably all spells and shit in there. <laughs> God to see. Eat, bats, wings eat your scone. Dogs. Eat your scone. Um, so, when it comes to uh, research and stuff like that, there are so many books and websites uh, that you can read on. If you do struggle with... So I, I, I was an absolute bugger for uh, being able to read something and have it stick in my head. I, I could not do... It was really bad. However, if I was shown a video of someone literally just talking to me, um, from YouTube or something like that. I don't know why, but it was sticking my head better. Um, so if you do kind of struggle with the whole reading thing, um, then there are so many YouTubers uh, who are part of, who are witches, um, and they will actually talk you through beginner guides. Right. Absolutely disgusting. Anyway, so um, there are so many YouTubers that can help with that. So um, please stop. What, right, so much stuff is spilling over there. Crumbling. You got so much crumb. Why don't you get a napkin? Uh, you're too far to walk. Do you want me to get you a napkin? Mm. Mm. But seriously, so many YouTubers. I could list a load. However, that is <laughs> vile, dirty minded. Mm. I could get list. Mar and get Mary to do that weird posh Cockney accent again. My weird posh Cockney accent. She does it all the time. What's my Cockney accent when I talk a bit like that? Is that a Cockney accent? No, it's not. Apples and pears. Talking a bit like I'm down south. 
Is that better? What even is this accent? I don't know. Talking a bit like that. No, people are saying I need a bib. Thank you. Yes. You've got it all over your computer. I'm even surprised that you... He's basically just using the mouse, you know, the mouse pad. He's basically just drawing pictures in with crumbs at this point. Anyways, um, now, so there are loads of YouTubers. However, now I did have a few questions and I'm gonna have to reiterate this. Of, oh my God, I can see it dropping out the corner of my eye. It's so off-putting. You've got, you've actually lost more of a thing than you've got in your hand. This is all I have left. On this is all I have left. And it's very nice and I'm loving it and I'm eating he's it. He's got more of it on the table. And just, I haven't got dirty nails, I've been painting. It's, it's black paint in my nails, just in case anyone wonders. Anyways, so, now. Um, what was I talking about? All I'm distracted by is your crumbs. How great I am. No, well, you are great, but... Um, what was I talking about? You put me off with your crumbs. <laughs> I'm just eating. You're the one who's getting put there off. There we go, I remember now, I remember now. Um, with, uh, you know, a lot of different people who come... Be who start on this path, they get faced with a lot of questions from so many people saying, um, oh, um, you know, what, who are you? What, what, what path are you going to take? What do you label yourself as? What, um, are you Wiccan? Are you pagan? Um, are you into, um, uh, nature? What about, are you, are you going to be a water witch? Are you going to be part, what about a beach? That sort of thing. Not a bitch, a beach. Um, what's that? That? No, it's interesting. A beach witch. Hmm, what's that? Uh, that is where instead of, you know how I talk about your crystals, your rocks, all that sort of stuff. Instead hmm. of taking from the nature of the greenery around us, they go to beaches, they collect the salt water, they collect all the shells, and it's very much sort of like aqua-based around there. So instead of sort of connecting the rainwater, they collect the salt water. And there's a, it's kind of very sort of loosely sort of based around that. But I think that there are so many different witch types out there. So you have your fire, you have basically any element or any place you can think of, usually there is a witch for it who specialises in that area. As long as it's in, in good energy, are, 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 do they all sort of have this, a similar thing? For argument's sake, as you say, you collect rainwater, but if you were a beach witch, you would collect salt water. Yeah, so or I would think... you still collect rainwater because it's the same thing? Right? I think um, there are a lot of different properties for different things. However, if you were specialising in that beach area, and you, for example, uh, with the salt water, there are so many different quant qualities of that salt water that might actually outpower your rainwater, depending on your belief. So as in, for example, if a beach witch turned around and went, uh, yes, I want to do my spell, I want to charge my uh, beach water up to my, my salt water, then I'm going to do it tonight, whilst I would get my rainwater out, and that is my version of it. Um, but there are so many different properties of each, so yes. Um, but when it comes to being uh, a beginner of this, I've faced it quite a bit with a lot of people commenting, DMing, that sort of thing. Um, and I think that my biggest piece of advice is do not be pressured by others into knowing <clears throat> what, you know, if you want to categorise yourself, which I don't really believe in, um, you know, don't be forced into it. Don't be pushed into it. Um, you're going to have a lot of people who will say, oh, well, have you seen what I do? I do this. I do that. My friend does this. You should be interested. You should do it this way. I can see you doing this. Um, so just focus on yourself and make sure, um, you know, you, you, you focus on what you want to do and kind of try and block out everybody else. Because at the end of the day, what you choose, you can obviously alter it or do whatever you want with your path. But what you choose is your path. And the key word in that is it's your, so, you know, you, you got to be able to have it by yourself. It's like your signature. You want it to be individual. You don't want everybody else to have it. So there you go. That is my big piece of advice. Well, Karen's asked a question here. Karen's from Earthweight. She's asked a question and I think you've kind of answered it then, but it's worth, and she's almost answered herself really. She said, how do you know which element you are? She says, she's drawn to earth and fire. Mm. Is it just what you're drawn to? Yeah. I think it's what you're drawn to for example mine is fire I find it very you know I think fire is a beautiful thing where if you know what you're doing with it it can be beautiful it can cause a lot of amazing things it can keep you warm it's the difference between life and death um but when it comes to it can also be very destructive so yeah and I think um 
by being able to draw yourself toward that one thing. For example, that's me. However, somebody might go, well, I really, I'm drawn to water. I always have been. I've always seen streams, rivers, the rain, the sound of thunder, that sort of thing has really called out to me. I love it and I find it very peaceful and calm. Or you might have somebody goes, I love it when there's a, a lovely windy storm that's coming, that sort of thing, which usually happens when my dad opens his legs. So yeah, nice windy storm. There you are. He's not reacting. So yeah. But um, right, Beth said, uh, thank you for the past eight weeks, Mary. I've really enjoyed. She's sent me £10. Oh, thank you so uh, much, I've really Beth. enjoyed it and I've, she's learned a lot. Um, and I can't wait for your return. P.S. Gen Z is the best generation. Thank you. Changing the world one step at a time. Yay. Yeah, but do you know what, though? Really, if you're saying Generation Z is the best generation, then really what you're, what you're underlining is... Is it's your parents' generation, what the best generation? Because without them, you wouldn't be born. I think the best generation of all Let's time. Move on. The best generation. Um, no, no, hang on. I've got a really good bit. The best generation of all time were the generation who were fighting and were around in World War One and World War Two. That is yeah, the best yeah. generation of all time. And I'm sorry yeah, yeah. if anybody's offended by that, but it is the truth. How could anyone be offended by that? They, they, they didn't <laughs> moan, they worked, they, and they saved this country. So everyone Exactly. Can, so true. those are the best generations. Anyway. Um, um, Hannah. This yes, is very Hannah. Interesting. This is very interesting. Um, she only started her journey into witchcraft a few days ago, and it turns out that they're getting a little black cat soon. How ironic. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, what, I wonder what, is it he or she? I want to know more about this little kitty now. Can well, we Hannah's, get Hannah's definitely a she. No, no, the cat. Okay. Anyways, yeah, no, that's fantastic. I, it's funny because uh, when it comes to, um, there's a lot of things that lead you to your decisions. I believe strongly in fate. I believe that what will be is meant to be. These sort of things that are happening in the world are meant to happen for a specific reason. Um, and it's, it's kind of like, you know, if I smiled at somebody in the street, that has a ripple effect where he might start, he or she might start smiling himself and that will pass on to other people. And it's the same thing, I think, with, uh, you know, these small things that happen. I believe that it is almost the universe going, yes, this is a good path for you. So good. I'm, I'm glad that you've got your little cat. And I think the universe is going, yes, you're on the right path. But I'm a bit biased. So, yeah. And, um, and this is good. Uh, Christine uh, Webster, who's been on this before and has been a, a regular... Uh, she said, uh, well, crystals have helped my mental health. So thank you, Mary. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Um, I, you know, I think that crystals, uh, along with herbs, um, along with the weather as well, when you begin to, and I don't know how to describe it, but properly feel it, uh, like in, in, you know, in your body and you begin to acknowledge it more and believe, I think that it can do you a lot, a lot of good. It can... I don't know, it can be just amazing. So I'm so glad to hear that. Um, James Rendell, who knows everything. Hello, James has, Rendell, has, who knows everything. Just, um, just come in and said, those born between 1910 mm. and 1924, mm -hmm. which is the generation you're talking about. World War One. Were officially known as the greatest generation for this specific reason. There we are, you see? Fantastic. So, but what were the generation that fought in World War One then? Because they they would have been babies by the time by that generation it would have been kind of more. But don't towards... forget, World World War One was was awful. Obviously, any war is, but World War Two, you, it's where you had the whole of London was 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 raised to the ground. That's more true. Or less. Not the whole of London, but parts of London where you had Southampton that was raised to the ground. Yeah. And you got that wonderful picture which you put up on social media of that. Oh, the lovely lady, lady sipping a on tea. A pile of rubble with a cup of tea. Yeah. Then, now she'd have gone to Twitter and started complaining. <laughs> yeah, that's so true. And and that's why they will always. And I think on recent events, and I'm just gonna say this one thing, but I wish and I wish more people were educated on the people that saved our country and that is all I will say on that. I just wish yeah, that people yeah, well, were more Mary. educated. Yeah, yeah. Um, now, uh, uh, Louis, uh, or Louise, sorry, Louise. As Louise. Said, um, will you be doing anything special for the up-and-coming solstice? Now, that is a very good question. Well, it might be nice to do a live, live one on the solstice. Live, live, yeah, that'd actually. be quite nice. I'd actually quite enjoy that. Um, yes, I will be. I actually have been, weirdly enough, looking at different bits and bobs, and I found, this is going to sound so weird because I haven't really celebrated a solstice yet, but, Pa, just to let you know, what are you, oh, he's feeding the dog. Crumbs. Crumbs. <laughs> I 
anyways, I found this really, really nice white gown. So I'm just going to be prancing around in that for the majority of the night. What, just... in your room? No, outside. Well, it was outside. You found it outside the house? No, I'm going to be wearing the gown outside to celebrate the summer solstice. Oh, have you got the gown? Yes. Where did you find the gown? Found it. In your room? Maybe. <laughs> So my first question in your room was, yes, Dad, I thought you meant, room. I thought you meant I'd be prancing oh. around in my room. And I was like, oh, no, I'm going to be prancing around outside. Wow. Wow. What is going on? I'm so confused. Oh, she's down there. Right. And there's also a silent generation, but they were born between 1925 and 1945. Silent generation? Yeah. Probably because they just got down and worked their asses off to get this country back on its feet as well. Yeah. As well as the generation before. And that, and that, and the generation of when, right, let me get this right, GCSE history, don't fail me. And when the soldiers came back to their missus, that's when the baby boom happened because they were all really loved up and they missed everybody and basically everybody just started shagging. Is that correct? Um, yes, yeah, I mean, the baby boom was really the 50s, wasn't it? Because everything was getting back on track and there was loads of work. And um, I always remember my dad telling me about the 50s. He said it was such, he said there was so much work because he was a carpenter and joiner. Mm. He said you could, you'd be working on a building site in the morning, and there will be a guy come in the afternoon and offer you twice as much to go and work on his building site. Uh, it was bizarre. Um, this is a good one. Laura S is asking, how often should you charge your crystals? Oh, that that is a very good question. Now, with the thunderstorms and everything, um, I've read somewhere that depending on your feelings towards thunderstorms. I don't like them. I hate them with a passion. Um, if you don't like thunderstorms, you should not charge them. However, if there is a thunderstorm, charge your crystals. I like to charge mine whenever there is um, a full moon. Um, I think that that is, it empowers um, a lot of your crystals, a lot of whatever you want to charge. But I would say maybe once a week is always good if you want to do a small amount. There is a lot of ways you can charge your crystals. Um, probably one of the easiest ones is actually if you have like a, a nice garden um, or, you know, any sort of plant life in your house. It's just by putting them around the plant if that's what calls to you, if nature calls for you. Yes. If they haven't got any plant life in their house, um, you could go around there. Is that plant life enough? Sorry? Right. I don't um, understand that. The uh, so, no, winter explain. witch, poor winter witch. No, explain. Winter witch, late. She's e evening. She's late at the moment because she was flooded today. Oh my god, winter witch! I hope that everything's okay. I hope that you're okay. It's, not, it's wet, isn't it? Well, yeah, but as in, I hope that everything's gonna be okay. And I shall. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna hope and um. I'm going to use my intent to hopefully bring you some positivity. So there we go. Well, I am between you, as just said about the baby boom. There will be another baby boom. <laughs> Quite rightly so. It'll be called the lockdown 2020 baby boom. I mean, I don't have a boyfriend, so. And you're never going to have one. What if Johnny Depp comes along? I might make an exception with Johnny Depp because I like Johnny Depp. Yeah. However, outside of Johnny Depp, no chance. What about... Ain't what about nope. Simon Cowell? No. Nope. What about Prince? There's enough assholes in the world. We William. don't want you and him breeding anymore. Sorry? What, what if Prince William? No. Why? I could become a princess. You're already my princess. Oh, yeah, I love you. <laughs> um, don't tell anyone I said that. I won't, I promise. But no. No one, no one heard. No one heard, no one heard, nobody heard. It's not like we're doing a live. Now, now Laura said, asked about the charging of the crystals. Yes. Uh, get back on track. So um, uh, she said, uh, "Thank you, Mary. I buried them in the soil. Um, I buried them in the soil in the past outdoors overnight." That's brilliant. Yeah, and especially, why? especially. I think depending on your element, I think that um, you know, if if you uh, strongly go with the earth, if you think to yourself, "Oh yeah, no, the earth really calls to me." Fantastic, go for that. I prefer doing it in the moonlight. However, when it comes to charging other crystals. Um, for example, um, you know, citrine, things that really bask in the sunlight, I will go with that, but especially amethyst. Amethyst I do in the night, but no, burying stuff in the ground, especially if you're into, you know, the whole earth sort of side of things, good job. A pretty girl says she leaves them in the sunlight, so there's lots of different... A few people are quite upset the fact you even mentioned Simon Cowell. To be honest, I don't really know why I said him. I don't even fancy him. He looks a bit strange. Actually, oh. no, I lie. He's great. Please sign me and don't sing, but it's fine. 
Well, neither does anyone else he signed. <laughs> oh! He, he perpetuated a band across the globe that couldn't sing. Famously couldn't sing. He even said they couldn't sing. But he stuck them all together in a band. Anyway. Um, Will has said uh, he saw lightning pass through an aircraft today over Watford heading to Heathrow. Ooh. Incredible sight. The plane looked fine. Oh, that's good. I like that. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Um, but... Right, I'm going to kind of, oh. Now, this is, again, I'm, I'm just giving you this, I'm sorry to interrupt, but this is quite important. Um, Simon um, mentioned a, a while ago about um, he needed some protection about negative spirits. Mm. I said, hi, Mary, your protection spell works for me. No bad ghosts now. Yay, that's amazing. That's amazing to hear, Simon, and well done, because it does take... Uh, a lot of intent, a lot of energy to perform the spell right. So well done for that. Fantastic. Brilliant. Very, very proud of you. You're amazing. So yeah, that's amazing. Um, now going on to my main point, which was we're going to kind of be helping those who have just started their path as well, which is kind of going to be uh, the main thing that I kind of wanted to talk about today. Um, which is talking about how all the spells that we've done so far have actually linked in with each other, with um, exception to one, but kind of link in, in the way that they're all positive. Uh, I've strongly said that I would never really want to do anything negative. If you do want to do something negative um, and you are a beginner, please either do your research, consult a lot of different um, books, people that talk about it, but when it comes to doing beginner magic, um, I would not go with anything too complex, whether it's light or dark. Um, so, you know, just just make sure that you're able to, you know, do a lot of research and do a lot of bits and bobs. Because honestly, I think um, I think that everybody needs to do so much work to even begin to understand where everything is. So, yeah. Uh, just a quick, we've got Jessica, who is saying hi from Wisconsin. Hello there, from Wisconsin. In the beautiful United States of America. And Winter Witch is saying lots of witches talking about being on the brink of an awakening on the solstice. Yes, I think um, I think a lot of people have, from who I follow on uh, social media and, and all that sort of stuff, um, and I think a lot of people are beginning to feel a lot of energy, both good and bad, begin to almost arise to an unnatural level and I think that this solstice will be probably the one where uh, where a lot of people begin to um, empty their souls, their hearts of whatever dark energies and also any harmful energies and kind of project them away from themselves and in that process I believe that it's almost like a reawakening in the sense that people will become more positive and I reckon that there is so much negativity in the world right now that it will start and help with everything else. So. Yeah, I think I think that's completely correct. I think that a lot of things are going to be happening in the next few months. Um, and I heard that a lot of people are doing, uh, a lot of witches especially, are doing a lot this year um, with upcoming events. But I won't talk about that because I don't know enough about it. So I don't want to. I don't want to give false information. Well, Dee Marie fifteen is saying she agrees and she's really looking forward to the solstice and a good opportunity to cleanse. Yes, solstice is fantastic. Um, I would also say when it comes to doing that, be careful because, I mean, me personally, I'm going to be doing um, my candle circle, my circle of fire, as it's called outside. Um, so if all the candles mysteriously go missing that day, don't worry, Pa, they are safe and sound. If you can find all the candles, it means you've probably got a boyfriend. Right. Um, Simon Passant has just said he feels the negativity is going to flip into positivity. I think that's going to happen at the end of the day um the idea of 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 um energy is that one side is negative one side is positive however they are, they are on the same thing so the amount of negative en energy that is going to be kind of boosted away from everybody i think everybody will suddenly turn that into a positive i think there's so much negativity in a lot of people's minds now i think that a lot of people are um are feeling down. I think a lot of people are feeling grumpy. And when this happens, and when I'm frightened, yeah, so many people will will be feeling scared and, and anxious, and 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 a lot of people will be confused about what's going on right now. And I think at the end of the day, when it comes to that, in the next few months, that will change. Um, you know, whether you believe in in what I'm talking about or not, uh, I think that this is going to be one of the Biggest changes in people's personal uh, feelings and happiness 
ever, if that makes sense. Well, Winter Witcher said, and this is, uh, uh, I didn't know this, but um, being a new moon on the solstice too, it's a great time to, for letting go of anything that no longer serves you. Exactly, and that includes, uh, a lot of people don't realise, but when it comes to, it, for example, if somebody's had a recent breakup, if you've got a family member who has upset you and you don't talk to anymore, whatever, and you want to get them out of your life, the new moon is fantastic for that. Um, I think that the new moon is amazing to be able to start anew, start afresh. So yeah, no, that is fantastic. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know that when it comes to this mini break that I'm having, I am going to be focusing a lot more time on sharing a little bit more research here and there on social media and stuff like that. Um, and if there are any questions, I will be trying to leave uh, a little status on Facebook, which is Mary MHE is my username, the letters MHE. And uh, when it comes to that, I will be uh, leaving a little status uh, after this video and if anybody has any questions um but they can comment on there and we can try and sort it out, all out together and i was thinking bit of an idea don't know might announce it a little bit later on who knows i don't know if i'm going to do it yet so as in we might just kind of stick to the status thing at the moment and i will tell you that later if it happens so yeah i'm leaving you on suspense there everyone's like you can't do that you can you have to tell no, us now falling asleep. <gasps> are they um Curly Hair and Daisies, as I said, first time watching, going to have, a, have to binge watch the series, Mary. It's fab. Yay! And her real name is Ella, by the way. Oh, lovely. Um, I'm glad now, to hear that, Ella. We need to send some love out to Deborah Holdsworth because she's feeling down today as she's been made redundant. Oh, Things bless you. Okay, right. Now, this is very interesting. Um, not in a positive way, and I'm very sorry to hear that, Deborah. Um, but I reckon that if everybody thought about Deborah and we all kind of felt positive vibes and sent her over to her, I reckon that um, I, I hope that we can send some positivity your way, Deborah. I really hope so. Um, and I'm really, really sorry about your redundancy. But uh, yeah, if everybody can think of positivity for Deborah, that'd be amazing. And we shall hopefully send some positivity her way. And maybe you'll get some good news in the next few days. Cross the fingers. Can I just say what a lovely bunch of people these are? Because every, you know, loads of people are coming up sending positivity to Deborah. And it's really nice to oh, see. Oh, lovely. This is what I mean, though. It's like a mini community, a little family that we've created. And if we can do it here, or if you can do it here and create this, I'm sure there's... there's there's hope for the rest of the world. I think it, that's the, this is what I mean, is that having a group that can respect each other and love each other just from me sat here talking to you guys, anybody can give out love and create a community with their friends and family and then kind of outreach that and make a big circle of love and positive vibes and happiness. I'm just letting you know all of the... Good, the good vibes and everything being sent out is still going on. Yay, good it? vibes, everybody. Good vibes, good vibes. We need that. Um, and I think it's, it's, it's brilliant to have those positive feelings right now with everything going on in the world. Let's feel positive. In fact, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to ask you guys something. We're going to set a challenge to you. When you're kind of trying to feel a little bit down or something like that, or you're feeling not too great, I want you to Buy try something. No. Well, that you can if you like, but... I want you to try something, whether you do believe in witchcraft or not, light a candle and think positively. And that is just what I think you guys should do. And I think that by doing that, you could shift your emotion. And I think that having positive thoughts is a, is a way to feel better about your life and everybody in general. But um, after this mini talk, I uh, just wanted to say that that's why the majority of the spells that I've been doing have been positive ones, because we need more positivity in this world. We need more love. We need more respect for each other. Um, and I hope that one day that will be found. And um, and I think that, thankfully, we've all got such lovely, lovely people that have watched mm. with this and stuck with this for the eight weeks that I've been doing this. That's two months We've been doing this for two months. That's lasted the most relationships. Great, you know? And now we're going on a mini break, but we will be back soon. And um, and I really hope that you guys will, will work on making yourselves more happier in your life. So please make sure, uh, you know, you guys are happy with your lives and maybe even try to work on yourselves and try and make yourselves more positive. Uh, if you need it, if you are a happy, positive person, then awesome. Um, and, 
and I think that we all need a bit, a bit, bit of a smile. So on that note, I shall leave it to you guys. Um, I'll be going on a break for a couple of weeks. I will be posting stuff on my social media, which is going to be Mary M H E uh, on Twitter and Instagram. That is, oh no, sorry, Jesus, wrong thing. It's going to be Mary M B T. Um, on Twitter and Mary M B C on Instagram. And on that note, I shall leave you all. Thank you so, so much for um, coming with me and having this journey with me. And I shall see you all in a few weeks. Don't know when, but I shall make an announcement soon. I love you guys and I shall see you soon. Blessed be. Goodbye, 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 goodbye.